So first we have to select subscription. So uh, yesterday itself we already discussed what is the subscription, what is the resource group, right? Okay, what is the subscription? Subscription or free trade or anything. Exactly. So we have to take the subscription first, right? So we have to pay the amount as upfront, so we will be get a subscription. So later we can create any resource group from there. Then after we can create our resource in that resource group, right? Same as we already discussed yesterday itself. Fine. So. Uh, here you can see that I already have a subscription so then I will select my resource group so I'll back to uh, my virtual machine name okay let me put the virtual machine name first I'll put a VM sir audio can you server server you should have put it now you can see 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 it now Okay, okay, one minute. Shit, I can cut the other one. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Sound to Kurcha. 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 अयो मर तो पैसे प्रश्न वही रंडल। ओके ओके। हाँ, ओके। सो एल बैक टू माय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एजुकेशन कंसोल। सो वी हैव अ सब्सक्रिप्शन और वी हैव ऑलरेडी सेलेक्टेड माय सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड रिसोर्स ग्रुप। आई सेलेक्ट माय वर्चुअल मशीन मशीन नेम ऐसा भी है। अगर तो फ्री ट्रायल्स ना इतना वाला ना। हम्म। फ्री ट्रायल्स। और एक � Okay, if we have a subscription. Which machine name is unique? No, 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 no. You can put any name, cast name. Okay. So I'll select my region. So you can see that US Central US, right? I've been already selected US Central. So available is on. So this we will discuss later. Okay, when we uh, discuss about virtual machine file. So I'll come to my password and authentic like authentication type. I'll I'll select password. So here I will select username as Ashik. Ashik Ashik at the right one two three. So that is the simplest password we can use every day. Ashik. Ashik at the right one two three. Ah, uh, so later I'll go with next disk. Oh, here you can see that selected inbound ports, right? I've been already enabled port number twenty two, so I'll be able to access my server, right? So what I'm going to do here, I'll, I'll I'll remove this port number or I will deselect this. Okay. Okay. Now you can see that, so I don't have any port as of now. So the value must not be empty. So we have to enable at least one port. So I'll do one thing. I will enable port number HTTP as of now, but I'm not going to enable port number twenty two. Okay. If you want to connect any server remotely, so we have to enable port number twenty two. Okay. If you want to visualize any web page, then we have to enable port number eighty or four four three. Okay. We will discuss that. Okay. Next, I will go to next disk and uh, networking management. So this will take as a default way. Okay. Custom VNet. I'll go to create a VNet. Sorry, create a virtual machine. Automatically, it will create a VNet for us. Default VNet. Okay, it's been for the validation. So once it complete the validation, I'll try to create a virtual machine. Okay, let me create a virtual machine. So it will take a couple of minutes to come up. Submitting deployment. It is already started. So within few seconds it will be uh, up and running. So then later we will try to connect our server using port number twenty two. Okay. So same as SSH. 
deployment in progress so let me go to virtual machine okay till now it's not a created so once it create we will try to access it's creating in progress we have to wait Okay, it's created. I'll go to my uh, virtual machine tab. I'll refresh this page. Okay, so here you can see that uh, one virtual machine already created. I will open this. So it's supposed to get one public IP and private IP. So here you can see that public IP, IP v6 and public IP v4 as well will be have. Okay, so so this is my public IP v4 and public IP v6. I don't have any public IP v6. And same as I have a private IP. So I'll copy this public IP. I'll go to my command prompt or you can use putty or mob extreme uh, any media okay so I'll try to connect my server SSH uh, username is Ashik so at the rate I have to put the public IP address of my particular server hit enter so let's see what we getting from that see I'm not able to connect my server right I'm not getting any response from my server right in the sense, uh, I didn't enable port number 22. That's what I'm not getting any response. So let's see what happening. So uh, after a few seconds, we'll be get an error message. So see, SSH connect to host 29432221. This is my uh, host IP address. So port number 22 connection timed out. In the sense, uh, so this server or uh, like uh, uh, this command is not able to access our particular server, this server. Okay. So I'll go to my virtual machine again. Uh, so we have an option over here, network, right? So we can edit our network. Yeah. Automatium, PowerShell, PowerShell, CMD, let you know the command. Okay, so now you can see that in my networking, uh, I've been already enabled port number HTTP, port number 80. And uh, so I have a three default rule as well. So we will discuss later. So I'll add a port number 22 over here, add inbound port rule. So just select custom. So here we will be able to find HTTP. Select this. Automatically it will allow port number 80 then click add. Okay. So it is getting creating and it will take a uh, couple of seconds to come up over here. So once it come port number 22 over here, I'll try to access again. Okay. So let's see what happened. Eh? 18 ID. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. So we have to add port number 22. So by mistake can actually add it. So this one we have to add SSH. So now you can see that automatically 20 tweets came, right? So we have to click add. Okay. 311 I will put. Click add. Okay. So by mistake can add it two times port number 80. So we are supposed to connect by using port number 22. That's what we are getting error over. See, connect to host 29. So this host is not able to reach in port number 22. Okay. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll try to connect. Okay. Successfully added port number 22 now, right? I'll try to connect my server again by using the same command. Ashik, uh, SSH uh, space Ashik at the rate my public IP address. See, now I'm able to access my server, right? I'm getting response from my server. So I'll try to put yes. So, so they ask him password to enter. So I'll put my password as well. Ashik, Ashik at the rate one, two, three. I successfully connected my server now, right? So each uh, like a process will be have a particular or a specific uh, port number. So we have to use the port number to connect. For example, HTTP, HTTPS, okay? So that's it. So now we'll back to our theory class. Fine. I hope you understood. Okay. 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 Okay.